I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning, and here at the American School of Doha, we have data informed, embedded right in our school vision. It's very important to us that we look at data, that we help, that data helps us as we work through everything that we do at the school. From my perspective as a pre-K through 12 administrator, we use data to look on the programmatic level to make sure that our programs are really working together and that we have good, strong vertical alignment at the school using data to help us do that. This year, our um, initiative around professional development data is a new initiative for us. We're developing a data dashboard to be able to look at the professional development and possibly the impact that our professional development is having uh, in our classrooms and with our student results. Hi, I'm Carolee Martin, a fourth grade teacher here at the American School of Doha. The data dashboard is a location that is efficient for um, us teachers and support staff to find all of the important quantitative data that we use when we're getting a snapshot of the whole class or individual students. We can also zoom in on an individual student and see all of their um, recent history on their maps data, report card grades, that kind of stuff, to help us determine where we should differentiate in our classrooms. It's also color-coded, which allows us to see which students um, are meeting, exceeding, or are below expectations, so that when we're meeting as a team, as Sanam is going to discuss, we can quickly see and put those kids into groups that are most beneficial for them. I'm Sanam Kitty Singh, and I teach third grade. Um, the data dashboard has been really useful for us at the team level. We try to look at, uh, to analyze data together as a team when we plan units and having everything very visually stored in one place has been really helpful because we can make decisions about how we want to differentiate for students on both the higher end and for kids who are struggling. So if we have, if we see right away that we have a lot of kids who need, who are struggling in certain areas, then we can build that in when we're planning units and make sure that we have um, activities that will support their learning or uh, on the other end of the spectrum. If we have kids who need a challenge, then we make sure that we build um, activities that have more rigor. Um, it also gives us really good information at the very beginning of the year when students come in and we don't really know, know them as well at that point. It gives us something to start with and um, so and we add to our information about children as we get to know them better but it gives us a starting point for the year. Hello, I'm Carol Little and I'm the math coordinator for elementary. I use the dashboard a little bit differently. We have a program here called Math Olympiad that the students um, earn a spot into by their math scores. So we take that one snapshot and allow students to join the Math Olympiads. However, we do want to make sure that that score is indicative of their real um, capabilities. So although I start with maps, I then go back to the dashboard and really just double check that they have been performing at the level. So I, I can see the report card grades, I can see prior map scores. So it's just a very easy snapshot for me to get a larger picture of that child. Hi, I'm Rob Gore, I'm the Associate Principal in the Middle School at the American School of Doha. We use data quite extensively in our decision-making processes. We look at map data three times a year. This is a standardized test that all of our students take, and we use it to determine how well they're doing in their reading, their language, and math usage. Now, our students perform quite well against U.S. standards, but what's important to us is to see whether the growth they're making during a year is significant. And that's where the data dashboard is, is really helpful. It allows us to dig into both individual student growth as well as grade level growth and even school growth. It allows us to analyze trends and make curricular decisions about how best to move forward. It's an important step for us to be able to have access to a tool that allows us to look at this clearly and closely. My name is Colin Boudreau and I'm the high school principal here at ASD. Obviously all good high schools pride themselves on the fact that they use data to drive decisions, specifically academic decisions. And we've worked on a couple of projects with Alejandra and our data team in order to try and have an impact on learning. One of the projects we worked on is really studying over the run of a number of years whether or not we have grade inflation in the high school. As you can probably imagine, that's a very difficult thing to try and measure. We were looking at things like grade point averages and SAT scores, AP and IB results. And the talk and the conversation while studying these things 
has been incredibly valuable for our high school and for our teachers. We actually were able to narrow down right to specific courses. What are the grade consistencies between teachers teaching different courses, as well as what are the grade consistencies of certain courses over a number of years? It helps us measure whether or not our students are actually improving and trying to measure the growth of our students' achievement. 